Revs accuracy or ball speed? If one had to go, which one can you get rid of and still have the best chance for a strike? Give us your answer down below while we offer you up two fresh bowlers for analysis next on The Art of Bowling. Hi, I'm Coach Arthur, and welcome back to The Art of Bowling, your resource for tips, tricks, and techniques to help you bowl your best. Let's get right into it with the first bowler. Our first bowler is Emily. Emily has very good balance at the line. When she gets there, she gets the trail leg behind her, setting up almost like a tripod where she can have her legs in balance and her shoulder stays well behind her knee. And that really helps her have great balance at the line. Emily has a very short backswing, which is not giving her enough power. The reason why Emily's backswing is so short, her push off is too far out in front of her and it's creating a shorter backswing. Her timing kind of looks okay at the line, but she's just rushing it forward and not getting a long enough swing in the back. So what I want Emily to do is to get that swing in earlier and let the ball swing the arm, not the arm swing the ball to get it higher. After I talked to Emily about this, she sent me back another video and you can see the improvement. She took it to heart. I mean, it's not perfect yet, but it's much, much better than it was. So you keep up the good work, Emily, and thank you for sending in your videos. So coach, I've been thinking about that question you asked earlier. What I could take away, res accuracy or speed, and still get a strike. I'm thinking about all the strikes I made over the years. And I have no revs. I'm not accurate. And I throw the ball slower than a lame snail in molasses on a cold day going uphill. So you don't need any of those things when you got the power of prayer. I pick up the ball, I chuck it down the lane. I lift up my eyes and leave it to the Lord. Hallelujah! Right, on to our second bowler. The next bowler will be Justin. Justin has, I love his timing on his, on his delivery and where the ball is in the back of his swing kind of shortens up his swing a little bit. He has very good timing. When he gets his slide foot flat on the floor, the ball and his arms are all parallel to the floor. And that's really what we're looking for in timing. So would I change anything on there? Probably not in that push away because he does get everything in, in a good spot and he has a pretty long backswing. So I don't think it's shortening up his backswing and what timing he has going on is working for him. Like a lot of two-handers, Justin kind of gets the ball in behind his head instead of bringing it out and, and keeping it underneath his head. What I think Justin should try to do, and I think this is something that might really work for him, is if he swings the ball out and as he gets to the apex of his swing, if he could tuck his elbow in toward his body, it would really help keep the ball a little tighter to his ankle and keep that ball from getting in back behind his head. But Justin, swing that ball out instead of bringing it straight back underneath your head. And, and you'll see a remarkable difference in what you're doing and your accuracy. One of the bigger problems to hitters has are, are their accuracy. Um, they kind of get caught into playing areas on the lane. How shots are very forgiving. Uh, when you get into tougher patterns, Justin, you're gonna have a difficulty getting that ball to do what you think it's gonna do because sport patterns are a lot more challenging and keeping that ball in front of you and keeping it accurate. Um, getting that consistent arm swing where it's coming from coming down underneath your head uh, is really, really gonna help. Thank you for submitting your video, Justin, and the game looks very good. You're gonna be a monster out there. You want next? Head over to our Facebook page, Art of Bowling, and submit your videos for analysis. You could be featured on our channel. And if you're looking for a lot more coaching from yours truly, join me on Patreon and we will elevate your game to new heights. Thanks for watching and see you on the lanes.